Hello, this is Hellbent aka Civ Reborn from YouTube. This video is the second follow-up video to the topic we covered in Tutorial 1 in the Auto Hotkey Tutorial Series. In this video we're just going to continue off where we left off in the last one. In the last one I had suggested that you download this um, script editor. So if you have it, go ahead and open it up and then go to Options, select Always on Top then go back to options again and if this wrap has been selected make sure it's not selected then go to resize your window and resize it down to something like this and then put it beside your video beside this video and now you can follow along with what I'm doing and type away okay <clears throat> so I don't want mine always on top but you do okay next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go you're going to pick somewhere on your computer that you want to save a file or a folder rather and it doesn't matter where it is wherever you want to have it just make sure it's someplace you remember and then we're going to go new folder and then we're going to name this folder auto hotkey tutorials okay and then so now we have a folder that we can, we're going to put all of our scripts that we write throughout the tutorial series. Um, go ahead and minimize that, bring the screen back up. Now we're going to make a new file in our, in our script editor. We're going to, and then we're going to go to save as. And we're going to go find that folder we just created. And double click on that. And then we're going to name this file. We're going to call it mouse move commands. dot ahk we're gonna save and now we have this here okay during the last during the first tutorial I briefly went into making comments that like if you just press semicolon anything that follows it is commented out so go ahead make a comment like this and then just say description and then under that we're gonna say we're going to do um, written by, and then your name, and then under that next line we're going to do date started. For me it's April 3rd, 2016, and last edit. So this is going to be the date the last time we edited the script, which in this case it's not. It's just pretty much all going to be today. But if you get into the habit of doing these kind of comments at the beginning of all your scripts, you're going to find it a lot easier to navigate your scripts later on down the road. So it's a good habit to get into regardless of whether you need it or not. And lastly, we're going to have a program description. So make sure you're following along with me. If you need to pause the video. I'm not a very fast typer as you can see. And if you're a slow typer like me, you might need to pause and unpause constantly like I would. Uh, program description. So I'm going to just write a brief description of what this program is going to do and I want you to copy this as well. This, this program shows all the mouse move commands and you can expand on that as much as you want all right so now later on down the road you can come look at this description that says oh, all this stuff okay now as you know what I can do if I try to run this right now it's gonna give me errors because it doesn't it's gonna to come to this first line that's not commented out and it doesn't know what to do so to fix that I would have to comment it out so I can either go through it all and put semicolons or a better way is beside this first description that I have what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a forward slash with an asterisk and then under the last line of what I want to have commented out I'm gonna do the reverse so I'm gonna have an asterisk followed by a forward slash now it comments out everything that's in there and if I come down down here it's gonna behave like as if it's not commented out okay 
If you'd gotten the editor like I had suggested, you'd also notice that you can collapse it. So now it's out of sight, out of mind. Okay, moving on. The first, next things we're going to be doing is we're going to make a bunch of comments. So the first one is going to be mouse move and copy along as I go. Mouse move and then in brackets we're going to say basic. And then I'm going to come down a couple of lines and I'm going to do another comment. And this one's going to be mouse move. And then in brackets I'm going to have speed. And then I'm going to go down a couple more lines. Another comment. And this one's going to be mouse move. And this one's going to be uh, relative. And then we're going to go down a couple more lines. We're going to do another comment. Mouse move. And this one is going to be chord mode. Down a couple more lines and we're going to have comment, mouse move. I'm doing it this way because I need to try to keep this video as short as possible by while still covering as much as possible. So okay, this one's going to be hotkey, hotkeys. And then we're going to go down a couple more lines and we're just going to type out exit app. So that way it automatically exits whenever we get to the end. Okay, we're going to come back up to this first one that said mouse move basic. And what we're going to type in here is <clears throat> we're just going to type in, for this one we don't need to really do anything, so we're just going to type in, uh, sorry, mouse move. Oops. Mouse move. And we're going to put an X and a Y. I'm just going to pick 500 by 500, but it doesn't really matter what I put in here. And then we are going to, hopefully you're all caught up with me. If you're not, pause the video, get caught up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes and we're going to run our script. Now before you run your script, what you're going to do is, right now your script, your editor should look like this. What you're going to do is before you run your script, you're going to pause this video and then expand this and then test. All right, so if you're watching the video now, you'll see that my cursor moves. Okay but it moves really quickly. So what we're going to do now is before this comment line that we have here, we're going to do the same thing we did up above with our description. We're going to put a forward slash with an asterisk and then we're going to come underneath our mouse move and we're going to do the opposite again and now this is all commented out. So we can collapse that. So our mouse move basic, which is the first thing we covered during the first tutorial, is out of the way. Now we're going to come down to this next one, which is the next thing we didn't learn during the tutorial, which is how to command, how to control the speed of how fast the cursor moves. So we're going to make a comment, and we're going to say this controls the speed of the cursor. Okay, and then we're going to go down a line. We're going to type in our mouse move command without any comments around it. We're going to go 500 by 500 again. Except this time after the Y we're going to put another comma and then we're going to type in a number between one, 0 and 100. So we're going to pick 100 and in fact we're actually going to go back one step and we're going to have we're going to say range of speed is 0 to 100. Then we're going to do another comment that says 0 equals fastest and 100 equals slowest. Okay, so get caught up with me. And then we're going to save our changes and we're going to run it. Now you'll notice that I have it going back to the exact same spot, but this time we've changed it so that way its speed is at its slowest and you'll notice the difference. Okay, big difference between that. And if we want, we can adjust this. We'll go, let's check out 50. We'll save our changes and run it again. And it's much faster than it was before. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, play around with this a little bit, get, a, get the handle of it. It's not that hard. All right, and then we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to comment as a block. So that we're going to give some space and then we're going to collapse that and we're going to go to the next one 
And here we're going to write a comment. This controls. Uh, this. Um, Okay, so this this thing is going to change it so that way. So let's say I moved, I had a command that moved it to here. Now if if I if I had just added, if I had just added up here another mouse move that said uh, 600 by 600, it's just going to go to 600 by 600. This other command is going to change it so that way if we first moved it to 500 by 500. We're going to add and subtract, add or subtract x and y values, so that way it's going to move from this spot to a new location in relationship to its last location. Okay, so we do, we're going to do the same thing for the first one. We're going to do mouse move 500 by 500. Oops, 500 oh, by 500. We're going to set our speed to, let's go, 75. And then we're going to have a sleep command. We don't really need a sleep command. We could just do it automatically. But uh, I'm going to add this in anyways. And then we're going to have mouse move again. And we're going to pick. This time we're going to use. We're going to add or subtract values to our previous x and y. So I'm going to say subtract 200 from the last x value. And I'm going to say plus 100 to the last y value. And then I'm going to set its speed to, let's say, 33, whatever. After that now, we're going to put another comma, and we're going to put the letter R. Okay? So now it's going to move to this location. It's going to move to this location, and then it's going to move to a new location that is 200 less, 200x less than that, and plus 100y from that. And just so you know, you don't actually have to add the plus. This is the exact same thing as this but I'm just putting it in there as visualization. All right, so if you, once you have this, go ahead, save your changes, and expand your thing and run your script. Now, note where my cursor is. So note that it's down here. If I go back up here and I turn this R off, like as if it's not even there, and save it again, you'll notice that when I run it, it's a completely different spot it's going to go to. All right, so that's that's relative position. Moving on, we're gonna comment out this again. We're gonna collapse it. We're gonna give ourselves some space. Oops, I need to give myself some space. Collapse it. All right, <clears throat> now this time I'm not gonna add the comment in. You're going to add the comment in as soon as we're done doing this. You're going to put a description of what this next thing does. So that way later on, six months from now, eight months from now, whatever, you can come back and have a reference to what these commands do. Okay, so with this one we're going to do, we need a new command. So this one's going to be chord mode, comma. And then we're going to say mouse because we want it, our chord mode to be related to our mouse. And then we're going to pick screen. All right. And then we're going to come down and we're going to do mouse move. Go back to our 500 by 500 again. And we're going to put our speed at 44. And we're not going to have it re relative right now. And then we're going to go down. We're going to have a sleep command. And we're going to have another mouse move. And we're going to go minus 33, minus 66. We're going to set our speed to 77, and we're going to have it relative. Okay, so normally by default, if I didn't have this line here, if, if this line didn't exist, there is already a line automatically that says this. It says this. Even if we don't type it in, it automatically says that. What this means is that our mouse move command is going to be re in relative, related to our window. So whatever window we have currently active as on top, like for example, if I have this on top, 
all of our mouse move commands are going to be in relation to this. So if I go to this top right corner of this window, this is X0, Y0. And then, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, so on and so forth. So all of these commands are going to be in related to the window that's currently active. But sometimes you're going to want it related to the screen regardless of what window is open. And the way we're going to do that is change this to screen. So now it's it doesn't care what window is active, it's going to move it based on the screen dimensions. So we're going to save our changes, we're going to run and test, see what it does. And note where it goes now when it finishes. Okay, so note where my cursor is right now, and if I open up that window again, regardless of this whether this window is open, it's still going to go back to that exact same spot on the screen it did last time. And it's the exact same spot, regardless of whether what window is open. And just to prove that, I'm going to change this back to window. Actually, I can, you know what? I don't even need to do that. Because like I said, it's already defaulted to window. So all we have to actually do is just comment it out, save. And if I go back to here, now it's going to be back to um, the window mode. So everything's related to the window. And if you notice, it's moving to different spots than it did. Okay, so we're going to turn that back on. And that's chord mode. We're going to comment that out. Come down here, make our another comment. And then last, we're going to do go over hotkeys. So once again, if you haven't already, go back up here and make comments on what we did with this. So that way, if you need to come back to it later on, you know what it did without actually having to run the program. And then do the same thing here. As soon as we're done with this part, you're going to put notes in here to tell you what it did. So you don't have to actually do it in order to tell. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a hotkey. So we're going to pick the letter R. Who cares what it is? We're going to say colon, colon. We're going to come down a line, tab over, and then we're going to say mouse move. And we're going to go 500 by 500. We're going to set a speed of uh, 66, and that's it for that. We're going to come down. We're going to do another mouse move. This time we're not going to bother with the sleep. We're going to do plus 99. Remember, you don't have to do the plus, but I'm just doing it as a visualization. And minus uh, 200. We're going to set our speed to 22. And we're going to have this relative. And then under that, we're going to go down one line and we're going to say return. So now we... If we save our script and we run it, it's not going to do anything when we run it. But if we press R, it'll do what we told it to. And the good thing about having it bound to a hotkey is I don't need to run the script again if I wanted to do that again. All I have to do is press R again, and it's going to do it again. If I want it again, it'll keep going until I'm done. Until I'm finished typing R, it, that's when it's done. I can also have it so that way we have more than one hotkey. So I'm going to paste in, copy and paste, and we're just going to change this to T. And then we can change the values of this to, let's say, 6. We're going to change this to 1. And whatever, we can change everything. You can go ahead and play around with this once we're done. We're going to save. And this time we're going to actually have to say, yes, I want to restart it. And we can get around that by actually binding a hotkey down here. So we can say X is exit app. Oh, that's why this is why I didn't actually do this in this video. <laughs> Forget about that. You can bind a hotkey to exit the app on your own, but we're not going to bother with that because this program doesn't really need it. We're going to run. We're going to say yes. And we're going to press R to do the first part. And then T is going to do the next thing. Okay. R again. R again. 
Okay, and that's it. Okay, so the next episode is going to be on clicks, and there's a lot more to cover on clicks than there was with Mouse Move. So I'll see you there. Hopefully it'll be up soon. And have a good day.